So, bro, come on. Okay, there it is. <laughs> so, Leafy isn't here anymore. I love it. You know, I, I kind of love it. I used to be an avid fan of Leafy's content. I, I want to get a little bit more into, like, how I became such an avid fan and how borderline it led me down the um very uh let's just say reactionary content i used to consume on a daily basis what's up guys how you guys doing how you guys doing how you guys doing so a little bit of leafy is here a little bit more because i made a video about it on my youtube which you should watch by the way it's only four minutes if you can't wait four minutes of your time watch a goddamn video and you're wasting space um <laughs> so leafy is here a gamer bro and for gamer bros they usually like you know they don't like anything changing at all like the system remaining exactly the same which is Okay, that's the thing. And um, his main appeal was to go to people and say, huh, "Look at you, you fucking dumbass nerd, you fucking little bitch, you little, little kid." Huh? That's exactly what he sounds like, like that. And then if it, if it's a talking woman, you just call her a thought and a whore instead of attacking her ideas. You know, because like here's my thing, right? If you're going to attack a woman <laughs> in the free marketplace of ideas, obviously not 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 um physical fight. You have to attack their ideas because going down to the level of just calling them like a slut or a whore, it's just, it's, it's almost too easy. You know what I mean? Like it's literally too easy to do that. So why would you settle on doing that instead of, you know, calling them out on whatever it is they're called, they're, they're, they're bad on. That's just optically makes more sense. So I mean, of course, if, if you're, if you're someone, I think he was 18, 20, whenever he started his channel, he's like my age now when he got banned. <clears throat> He's very he, he he wants all the juicy drama. He wants all of it. So what he's gonna do instead of you know making valid points against the people he's making a video of, he's gonna play CS:GO, surf, talk shit, eat hot chip, and lie. That's all he will do. And it got to the point where like he was he harbored a fan base of people that all they did was just bite into anyone he was talking about. They're called, I think they're called like the army of snakes or something like that. That's what his fan base called army of snakes, something snakes, something like that. And because his fan base became so toxic, <clears throat> ironically enough, he had his own army of simps to go wherever he needed them to go. If he made a video on like a little like 13 year old autistic kid talking about like mayonnaise or some shit, all those fans would just dislike bomb the video and be like, huh, you fucking retarded, you fucking dumb piece of shit, huh, you fucking dumb, and just, just like ruin the 13 year old autistic kid's life. You know what I mean? The permanent, because like they can't go back online anymore, because like <laughs> their online record is permanently scarred by leafy fans just, just berating the video. Now, did that happen exactly? He was an autistic, but technically, no, no, hypothetically, yes, it, it did happen because it was like some. I think he might have been like autism with that. He, he, he was like a very, very had speech impediments down the third. And Leafy was like, huh, look at you, fucking speech impediment, little fucking nerd. And, you know, he, he, he was trying to adjust life. He was trying to be like a normal person. And Leafy was like, look at this piece of shit. And then, <laughs> and the fan just like dumping that motherfucker. And then, like, people called him out. And then Leafy was like, it's just a joke, dude. Like, I'm not responsible for my fans. I'm just joking. Like, what? How was it my fault that my fans went out to attack someone else? It's just a joke, bro. I was like, basically his response. He made some other 10 minute video because middle lads are a thing, but it's basically his response. And so are, are, are we getting the pattern here? He does something, his fans see it, laugh, they love the toxic energy, and they go, they go to it. They go to the target. Because he's basically, it's basically like, you know, doxing someone and saying, this guy right here, very bad. I wouldn't do anything to him, but he's very bad, guys. So bad people are bad now does that imply that the person who posted the doxed information mean they want to have the dox person killed no but posting it and saying that said dox person is very bad and conflating it with like horrendous you know like just like making them bad then people who see that and adore the person who posts the dox information are going to target the same person who got doxed because they are a bad person so that works so I was Leafy's entire psychology, Leafy's entire makeup, Leafy's just entire being was that. And it got to a point <laughs> where, <laughs> you know, it, it just came back to bite him in the ass, right? That's basically where it's at now. And, um, I dubs and many other content creators who saw when I dubbed in CSA, but like there are many other content creators who saw Leafy style, they took it and made it a lot better. 
that's good because you know if you can revitalize the style and maybe um you can fix on it i mean that's very 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 good you know what i mean and um hold the fuck up all right i'm, I'm getting heavily distracted here sorry about that some holes in this house there's some holes in this house there's some yeah so like people like pyrocynical for example i can't think of any other like leafy influence uh youtubers but like people like pine pyrocynical and stuff like him they would they, they would view leafy's content revitalize make it their own type of branch their own thing to the point where it's now like they're li literally like leagues above that man because all leafy does is basically just like again i just, I just mentioned before eat hot chip surf on cs go Call women thoughts, make fun of kids, eat hot chip, and lie. I said you had a choice. I know I did, but that's besides the point. So yeah, so clearly this man hasn't evolved. He hasn't learned from then. He's stuck in the 2016 humor, even when 2016 humor is kind of stale. And at that point, when he got reciprocated all the payback, all the feedback that he was throwing out, it's, it's like it's like this. Like, it's like the whole aspect of don't throw stones out of a glass house. That thing, like that. Mm hmm yeah mm -hmm. well leafy got brigade with a bunch of other stones he saw the shards over the place and just decided to sweep it all up in a bag and walk away and never come to youtube again until another three years now when when i saw his content like back when i was like you know peak toxic masculinity i would see him make fun of like a kid or a girl or some weird cringe person and be like oh that's so cringe wow that's very weird i can't believe people would do that on the internet oh my god and then not realize that everyone's cringe like if you if you scope out one second me watching a video of someone watching another video talking about the video he's watching and saying the video he's watching is bad and then me looking at that saying, oh, ha ha, I agree. That is also bad. It's kind of cringe because I can't watch original content. You see what I'm saying? Like it, you, you can break anything on down like that. Cause like at the end of the day, everyone is cringe. It's just like things are more accepted than the others. You know what I mean? Like it, it's more acceptable to make fun of women and children because you know, they're women and children. You know what I mean? I just, so and seeing that towards seeing that constant animosity get rewarded consistently he was like top like five ten youtubers for quite some time that man was like up there he was peaking i'm like yo maybe this is a new wave maybe um i should attack some women and children not literally but i meant like in a video format obviously and um it led me down that very toxic road to just hating everything existing. And then three years later, four years later, here I am now watching Leafy become the thing I used to like and now absolutely hate now. It's just very, very adorable how times have changed and how the fans have changed, but the fandom stand idea of make fun woman, make fun kid, haha, -ha, boo boo, stinky, stinky, poo poo has not changed. Cause there's always a target audience for that shit because that's always just like a running joke. I mean, like you always gonna wanna do that. But yeah, you know, when Leafy got made fun of, I had to dip, came back, <laughs> made fun of people some more. Then it got fucking nuked off of YouTube. That's beautiful. That's it. That's the entire video. End of video. I should have started recording that. I'm dumb. I'm a very dumb person. Uh, let me get my phone right quick. I'll be right back. So I think it was 821. Yeah, let me put 821 down real quick. I can have this down for a YouTube highlight. Yay. Can't see the chat. No, no one's chatting. <laughs> Hold on, let me see real quick. Um, let me do this real quick. So let's do 828 for YouTube. We few more. And um yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's go over here. <sighs> How you guys doing? How you guys doing, man? I, you know, I, I <laughs> funny enough, right? I, <clears throat> holy shit. The original title of the stream was going to be something like I made money doing bad things, but ironically enough, it seemed like I, I lost money, but losing that money ended up making me more money at the end of the day so like me accidentally losing money ended up me making even more money than i had beforehand this is very beautiful how that works out hey what's up i can't see who you are because my screen is just malfunctioning 
That kind of sucks. Oh, Lil B, what's up? What's up? Where's that Lil Bi? Lil Bill. Lil... Oh no, whatever. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, I just got done on my Leafy rant. You know, uh, I'm very, um, I'm very attached to the Leafy drama. Not because I'm personally involved with it, but because you know, hey, thanks for the follow, brother. Appreciate it. Here's your chef's kiss to you, and I will do my seance chant to appreciate you for coming into the stream and following. Here's your chef's kiss. Now let's do the chant. And we do that chant because of um we have a goal here of brand new cult members. Now the whole essence of that goal is to represent the fact that like eventually we're gonna have a name. And when that name comes, we're going to have an entire stream breaking down the philosophy of said cult and why the principles are the way they are. I have most of them instead of my brain of how I want to go about it. They're not like ideal commandments to live by, but, you know, heavily, um, <laughs> heavy suggestions you should follow. I'm trying to say here that, 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 that's that's what I'm looking forward to doing. And it's going to be pretty rad. Oh, man, my computer's not fucking up with me. Huh? Damn. Who knew? Oops, that's. Oops. <laughs> I have my. I got my homework on my screen. That probably is the reason why shit's fucking up, huh? Yeah, it probably is. It probably is what it is. Oh, shit. What, what the fuck just happened? Something else happened? What the fuck? I can't. I, guys, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm, I'm walking blind. I'm talking blind. Hello. Hey, what's up, Mega? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, fuck. I think. Damn it, dude. God damn. I fucking. Dude, I can't wait till my fucking like brand new PC comes in, man. Holy shit, I can't wait for that shit to happen. When that brand new PC comes in, I'm be just jerking off so hard, dude. That scared me too, dude. Trust me. I have no earphones in, so it, it just pops up, whatever. It does scare me. Or are you talking about the seance? Is the seance scared you? The seance scared you. Oh boy, you're, you're not ready for this. <laughs> I'm tell you that right now, brother. That seance is a little warm up. So, like, I. So, you want to hear a, a pseudo hot take? So. When I write my entire philosophy as to behind the actual the rant, okay, that, that was the alert sign, yeah. As to how the um the cult was founded, what the cult is, and then the third, it's going to be like a, a, a real breakdown of society itself. It's gonna be like based on like how I view the world and how I feel like you know I manage despite my negative pessimistic view on the world you know i mean I, I just want to implement that in a positive way i want to be a pessimist in a positive way i want to reach the pessimists who are out there doomed as fuck and be like hey bro you can be doomed as fuck but also do something you like at the same time you don't have to give up who you are because being doomed is almost personality trait at this point i want to say I, I, I want to take that shine it a little bit and then you know lift it in the air so it can shine off that's all that's all that's all that's all, that's all i want to do man that's all i want to do that's it <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. So today I did some homework. I um I talked to <laughs> and I pl I cooked. I cooked a meal I wasn't gonna eat. I don't know if this is like me being the most selfless person in the world. Maybe I'm like the best. I don't I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't sound the best person, but you know hey. Some people would. And just it it, it was hyper focusing on cooking was very um, enthralling in our release very fun mine is the fish fish what ha 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 i get it favorite cod is fish that's so funny oh my god that's so my favorite cod because of nostalgia and how often i played it is black ops one i love that shit so much even though it's like so clunky as fuck i still i just I played the story mode so often because I I, I went months sometimes about memberships I couldn't afford the membership in like a little high school with no job. <laughs> so I had to learn to love the campaign mode. <laughs> and I never memorized the campaign as hard as I did the Black Ops 1 shit. It was beautiful. I loved it so much. I, I do find it odd though to like Call of Duty keeps saying they're not a political game when it's about fucking war. Like that's literally as political as it gets but that's beside the point that's beside the point whatever um yeah i, I love how smooth the galil was the galil was i love how broken the famas was in black ops one i love um the rpg wasn't that broken i don't remember exactly it, it, it was something like 
Uh, only COD I play is Black Ops 2. Uh, you know, is okay. I have a question. Is Black Ops 2 the one where it's like kind of futuristic and, or is that Black Ops 3? Uh, I'm thinking like where it's kind of futuristic and has like drones flying in the air and shit. I don't know. So w- which which Call of Duty had the first one with the drones and shit, like the futuristic guns you could slide and shit. Which one was that? Was that Black Ops 2? I don't think I play Black Ops 2. B- Black Ops 3 is the future. Okay, so I don't I, I don't think I play Black Ops 3 that much then. Cuz I played Black Ops 3 like once or twice cuz I actually had a job and had to do schoolwork and shit. So Black Ops 2, I don't remember what the fuck that one. Maybe I never played that one. It's so weird cuz I played like I played every game. I played like I didn't play every game. I played um I think Call of Duty like war or something like the the not, not, not the cold war one dropping now like the first one way back when it said call of duty war or something like that one it was like early 2000 mid 2000 bullshit that's the first one i played and then i was like i think it was um og modern warfare after that and then black ops i don't, I don't remember i don't remember the timeline at all i don't i do not um i just ah oh, fuck i don't remember the timeline I used to do listen, listen, listen. Like how I memorize all this Pokemon shit. I used to like have all the Call of Duty like titles memorized. I used to be like, oh yeah, you know, there's um Modern Warfare three, the Black Ops, Modern Warfare two, Black Ops one, Black Ops three. Like I used to do that shit consistently. No, I don't remember. Like, cause like <laughs> they don't have it on the Switch, and <laughs> I can't play it on my PC. Cause my PC can't run this shit. So therefore, I had no excuse to play COD. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> I lose all the way around, no matter what. Like <laughs> it's just. I wanna, I wanna shoot people in a video game, uh, unironically, man. I miss it. Who was your best friend, bro? If I Google right now, my computer's gonna break. That's very funny for you. That's very funny. You like to see my PC break. I, I appreciate you wanting me to sabotage myself. Okay, I definitely appreciate that. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I don't know, because like, I would say Fortnite. It's definitely um plus game PC coming soon for you. True, true, true. My my game PC I think is either coming tomorrow or the day after that. I remember I can check my email. <laughs> but watch, I got scammed. It's not even a fucking PC, it's just like a fucking case. I pay like <coughs> for a damn case. Oh, I, I would lose my mind if I paid that much money for a case, bro. You know what? I'm getting paranoid. I'm gonna check my email right now. Don't look at my email. What are you doing? Eyes up here, buddy. Don't look down there. Fucking disgusting. All right, let me see. What email did I use? I use the, uh, fuck, what email did I use? What is the cost? It's like a K. Not that much. Um, yeah, I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find the email I used. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, I'll just look for it later. Fuck, who cares? But yeah, <laughs> scam. <laughs> shut up, shut up, man. Don't say I got scam. I don't want to think about that, dude. I'm getting hot at the fact that I got scam. Oh, I forgot my intro. What's up, guys? Welcome to Escape in Paradise. The reason it's called Escape in Paradise because I had several dreams, delusion I could not chase, and therefore I'm now done chasing it, and I'm trying to escape the paradise, which is my delusions. Boom, there you go, that's my scam. Uh, <laughs> that's my intro, not my scam. <laughs> I'm not scamming people yet. I will do that eventually but i'm not doing that yet though okay so we're just 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 keep it calm keep it neutral keep it steady and keep it going you know i mean <sighs> yeah how y'all been though how have y'all been in this state of mind it's this um this very limited form of this very limited uh sack of flesh how you guys been you know it's like oh god <laughs> oh god what's the name Cause like I f- I feel like when I think of human limitations, I view it as something to go past rather than something that is a limitation. You know what I mean? Like you know when someone says, "Oh, how come we can't fly?" and someone literally makes a fucking plane. You know, like that that's 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 an answer to that question. Like, oh, how come we can't walk fast? Someone makes a fucking car. Like that's answering that question. Like we can use our brain to like compensate for the things we lack you know what i mean like oh how come i can't have a hot thick mommy gf who's a goth girl boom make anime like it's just <laughs> very fucking simple i want to play valorant my brain tell me not to bro bro play valorant do it if you're not playing valorant because you think it's a waste of time 
I already gave a theory on that as to why. Should I go off on that rant again? I want to go off on that rant again. I really do. On why people are saying video games waste of time, but literally everything else isn't. I. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I, I'm. I am. I am almost um, incentivized to do it again. I generally am. Like it, it's just. It's it's still embedded in me, right? Because I've been told consistently, like playing video games waste time. If ah, if I keep biting my tongue, ah. Even though, if you want to really play that card, everything is a waste of time. If you truly think about it, but we put video games lower because video gamers are scum. But I mean, that doesn't mean video games are. You know, you just. Let me let me not let me not snap on the normies, okay? Let me not snap on the normie forty year old boomer moms who say all that shit all the time to get fucking tip me off playing the game. Let me just not do that, okay? Because like if I do that, I <laughs> I'm gonna see red. <laughs> I'm gonna break something. All I got is time to waste. My brain just keeps telling me no. Okay, then never mind. Never mind. Yeah, if, if 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 you like if you like fighting with your soul not to um play Valorant, I would suggest not doing that because I just that just sounds like uh you're literally um. My body is telling me yeah, like you like that essentially, right? You know what I mean? Like I, I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> don't, don't fight with your body, brother. Just, 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 just let your brain just do what it has to do. Because like, at the end of the day, you're not in control of your brain. Your brain is in control of you. Boom. Now, okay, that's actually something to talk about. So, okay, it, it, look, I guess what I mean by that is this. So the brain itself can function. It can do this. It can talk. It can consistently think. And it's out there. It can say all this bullshit, but is the brain doing all that work or are you doing all that work? If you say you are doing all that work, then are you controlling your brain or is the brain controlling you? You know what I mean? Like, all right, try again tomorrow. Cause I feel like if you're controlling the brain, then wouldn't you be able to stop it from like having aneurysms or stop it from, uh, just being inept essentially. Like if you can genuinely control your brain and besides controlling your brain makes no sense because where'd you get the thought process to control your brain? Now, I assume there's some psychology PhD out there who can answer this question, but since there's no one out there who has the authority above me, I'm just going to just say fuck it myself. I feel like since your brain can control you, and if you aren't you without your brain, <clears throat> nothing you do really matters because your brain is what the thing that controls it. Now, of course, someone could say, well, we have a soul, and I'm like, uh, do we really? If we had just like a slate, just like general soul, and that means one religion is right. And if one religion's right, that means we're all doomed to fucking hell because it could be some fucking random ass uh, Tiki Tuku Taka porch in uh, like South Africa who actually got the religion right, and we're all just doomed because we're not all South African in South Africa. I mean, like it just, it's too random for that to be a thing. And besides, if a soul was a thing, don't you think, you know, like, millions and millions of years of existence we'd find out by now like why, why would we not find out a soul being a thing that's 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 just oh 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 but yeah so if the brain can control you and that means <clears throat> maybe that religion doesn't have <laughs> she you're not wrong <laughs> maybe the right religion doesn't have a hell maybe we're all like sent like another dimension or <laughs> something general, but, you know but like <clears throat> Cause like, I, I feel like if you could control your brain, would you ever die though? Like genuinely. Cause like, that's basically like, if you're able to control your brain, that's like, you're able it's like robot shit. Like I don't know how many of you guys ever watch Inushigi, but like they're able to control like the ability to, to, to fly themselves, to really like open their fucking mind and it's all this fucking, you know what I mean? Cause it, it, it's like sentient AI. I think cause like sentient AI would be a perfect example of being able to control your autonomy or control the thing controlling you right because the thing controlling you in the ai situation would have to be wouldn't it be the human in that specific no that'd be no that'd be weird because like okay okay so i, I would that make sense in ai though because like if 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 ai right their whole like main core structure system is the like all their data why are shooting everywhere is that a third if that's what's controlling them then they don't control that because if that was what was controlling them, then they'd be able to turn themselves on and off. So therefore the person who'd be able to constantly activate the machine would be the one who control it, i.e. the human. So therefore humans would be the one controlling the AI 
un- unless they decided to, you know, automatically become sentient of who's controlling them and take over the, the controller, i.e. the humans in that specific instance. So in our case, if we were able to control our brains, we would be able to fully, you know, autonomously um, override all the lapses or hyper um, activate any like uh, extenuated talents that we do have. Like, I guess like a perfect example of this is like, <clears throat> have you ever met like a three year old? Not three. Oh, have you ever met a three year old? That's a very weird way to phrase the question. Have you ever like seen like any prodigy like chess players or prodigy like child? Um, we are AI then. Yep, we are AI, and the brain is the human controlling us. That's that's my that's my theory. My theory because while you think you're doing this, your brain is doing this. You know what I mean? Like you're you're not doing. Your brain is telling your arm to move. Your brain is telling you to think. Your brain is telling you to talk. You know what I mean? Like this, this is your brain is telling your heart to pump blood. Like you're not doing any of that shit. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm saying. But um, back to that topic at hand, which makes out of context seem very weird. If you ever met like a prodigy, like chess player, or prodigy, like kid singer, or prodigy, you know, like a like an architect, whatever, they hyper like fixate on this one specific field, you know, such as math or like being a chess player is that the third. And I feel like they are without realizing it, passively controlling how their brain concentrates, right? Because they specialize so hard in this one field that they become excellent in it to the point where they're proficient masters at it while everything else lacks. And I think because everyone has an innate talent and capability, whether it's worthless, worthless or not, that's, that's my whole theory. We, we all have like an innate, a hidden talent. All of us do. And we have to find it or we don't. It's just, that's just, that's just life. Finding what your true purpose is. That's the whole point of life. And, um, to be able to do that, that's not, it's not normal. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> when I say normal, I mean like, it's not what the average human does. The average human doesn't, you know, just tell his brain, Hey, can you please focus on, you know, chess for the half of my lifespan so I can become the best at chess, therefore lacking every other field besides chess so I can become rich and billionaire. Like we don't, the, the, the project kids don't tell their brains to do that. The, um, the project kid is like, fuck it. I'm going to spend most of my time focusing on this because I'm good at this. And they keep doing that. And that's why they excel so high in that field. So therefore they can somehow slightly control the brain, but they can't do it all the way because if they could, they wouldn't have any lacking fields in the first place. Make money, enjoy life. No need to make a difference. Well, I mean, no, I, cause here's the thing. Cause making money and enjoying life is making a difference on society because you're not being a depressed leech in society. So therefore you are making a difference. Like you, you existing, making existing as a being in society on this earth, in this atmosphere, at this current timeline, in this space time continuum, flirting on this earth around the fucking sun, you are making a difference. Now, whether or not you are negligible or positive, that's debatable. Now, whether how much you do negative or positive is also debatable. Now, whether or not you have net benefit or net positive is also like, only like it's just continuous. <sighs> Oh, what's up, Shadow? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I got off pretty ranty. Fair Shadow does. <laughs> True. Oh, what's up, Shadow? Yeah, um, Leafy is banned, boys. We can no, we don't. Where, where am I gonna get my um beta male low T cuck, fucking antagon ant- ant- ooh, <laughs> antagonistic <laughs> hate porn from? Huh? Where am I gonna do that from? You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. I watch Leafy's here just so I can make fun of other people. I mean, uh, no, no. I watch them because I can't do that. There you go. That's a theory. That's a theory. <clears throat> okay. I have a question for you guys. Which person, it has to be in this society. Which person is not more worthful, but which person provides more value to society a a person who does construction or b a person who deals drugs now it was a bdm now i feel like you can make arguments of both right but i feel like the majority of people would go with construction because you know you can build houses and shit like i just i just good but um <laughs> The reason why B deals drugs is such a 
like a anomaly to me. Yeah, Leafy was terminated. Leafy is gone. <laughs> You're saying, oh, well, you know what's crazy to me? When I was like 15 to 14, I was watching Leafy at peak. And then um, I would have been raging if, if Leafy was gone, by the way. B. Now, the reason I say B works is like I didn't say pharmacy or drug dealer. And even if it's only pharmacy or even if it's only drug dealer, I can still make a case as to that's better than construction overall. Because hear me out. Now, all constructors or constructionists do is build things. Now, don't get me wrong. Building things is very important. You need shelter. Shelter is vital to society. Shelter is important. If you don't have shelter, you, you can't exist on this planet. Now, drugs, on the other hand, legal or not, prescription or not, is arguably almost as important, if not more important than building a house, right? I know this this man said who's gonna buy the houses <laughs> at some point too, but like here's the thing, right? You got people like who who's a like a fucking ginormous weed head in this chat? Uh I think it was Mega. Yeah, you got people you got people like Mega who just smoke and blow through like fifty pounds of weed a day. Now <laughs> you could call him a useless member of society who's just doing nothing but wasting our taxpayer dollars and destroying the environment or whatever. But I, 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 I offer you this. Now, he's paying someone for that weed. Now, the person he's paying needs that money to survive. And the money that needs to survive is through dire situations because why else would you deal drugs unless you had, ah, I keep biting my goddamn tongue unless you had a dire situation and you find yourself in the first place. And essentially, whether you like it or not, <laughs> buying weed is like a form of reciprocal charity. You know what I mean? It's like, if you buy the weed, you either help some dude who's dealing drugs who is in clear need of just assistance, obviously, because he's fucking dealing drugs, obviously. Fuck. And you get weed at the end. Like, you, you, get, you get the drug, you get, the, you get high. And also another thing, too, what if the weed smoker wasn't smoking weed? What would he spend a vast majority of his life doing? He would easily, I, I, I can easily conclude that he would spend that time doing some just fucked up shit. You know, something worse than smoking weed. Let's just put it that way, okay? <laughs> if he wasn't smoking weed, he'd do something worse than smoking weed. And <laughs> I think it's better for him to smoke weed <laughs> than not. <laughs> so that's, that's my case as to why a drug dealer in my eyes would be more worthful than a construction worker. And God damn it, guys, why do you keep, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. But yeah, that's that's my argument. Okay, that's my case. I rest my case. Should I be a lawyer? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I, I see a lot of hypoth hypothetical scenarios in the chat, guys. I'm glad you guys aren't, you know, allegedly dealing drugs in a video game. Of course, hypothetically, of course, you're not really doing this. Obviously, it's a video game hypothetical, allegedly doing this. Of course, allegedly. I need to switch my chair. It's squeaking too much, and it's grinding my hamstrings. Boy, like I can't feel it anymore. It's deteriorating my fucking muscles. I'll be right back. Um, take a look at Baki, I guess. Totally a video game. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Baki hour. All right, welcome back to the radio hour where there's no radio and goddamn, I'm just gonna be shorter than a fucking hour. I need a gamer chair, cover boxes are very uncomfortable. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen. I had like this one, I don't have the computer anymore to show the picture, but I had this one like eczema chair that, um, it, it was peeling, and every time I sat in it, like, I felt my bones reaching the wood like the, like the, the cushion was just that worn out and exhausted because i sat in it like 20 hours a day because i'm a i'm a real fucking gamer and um <laughs> let's just say i know your pain brother okay i know you got in pain i know the pain of like not having ideal um fucking uh equipment to game or be a an apt um user in the uh verse of Video gaming guys. What's up, Trixie? You just missed my rant about why a drug dealer is better construction. 
worker, you missed my rant about Leafy, and you missed my rant as to who controls the body, the brand of you. You know what I mean? A patio chair is great. No, it depends on what you're talking about, because my patio chair is literally just like some shiny wood um, nailed together. That's it. And that's not that comfortable for hours at a time, because I am, as I said, a gamer. Can't be a real gamer if you don't have a game. Man, fuck you, okay? Maybe I don't, maybe I don't want a gaming setup so I get my own house. Hmm? Never thought about that, you little fucking loser. Fucking uh, little, little cuck boy. <laughs> fucking leafy fan, bitch. <laughs> RGB setup, maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know. I I, I kind of like the whole like the aesthetic of like the lights flaring everywhere and shit. I kind of like that as a background. Like where I, I wanted to have like to a point where like I want like lights just line up in the background, whatever. So um, that'd be cool in the future. But I can't. Well, I can't say I can't afford that, but I don't want to buy that now if I have like a thing that I'm looking forward to in the future. Um. I noticed this in the last stream, but no one is complimenting me on my dashing good looks. I'm, I'm, I'm like, dude, what the f like? I don't come on here just to talk to you guys. I come on here to get complimented, and I see no compliments on my looks whatsoever. A damn shame. That's for sure. RGB equals LGBT. No, it's not. It's not what that means. <laughs> no, not the. I didn't say compliment my shirt. Did I? Oh my. I hate all of you guys. I hate every single one of you guys. So hey guys, um, I don't know if you noticed this, but I did this as a very small company, and sometimes they make gloves, sometimes they make sports equipment like cleats and bats, and they're really involved in the sports and athletic community. And they came up to me, a small becoming hustling streamer, on up and 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 up. And they're like, hey, I like what you're doing. I like what you're doing. I just I want to supply you for sure that would make you high peak performance all the time I'm like yo thank you I really appreciate it. you know you're you're up and coming homie and i want to show you my true love and trust you and appreciate you for who you are and we're sure all the time and therefore that's why i wear the same shirt that's why it's fucking nice shirt there you go boom hey what's up big chunga you're an ugly bitch that's that's not what i wanted i want a pretty bitch okay 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 i complete me you on your cat oh compliment uh that. <laughs> but I'm not showing Cav. I don't have any calves to show, so that compliment is just falling on not so valid ears. <laughs> Big chunk of dude, you you literally just got in here. What are we doing? Like, is this what we're doing, man? Is is this? All right, all right, brother. You you, you gotta you gotta sit that one out, man. I. I, nah, no, no. Send a pick. Send a pick of what? What am I sending a pick of? <sighs> so I did find out that the, the account from yesterday, you know, the children got penis, penis, penis. Whoa, uh, that didn't work out. I was trying to censor the um Me Too. I took her. Oh. Guys, I'm going to keep making these timeouts longer and longer if you keep this up. You do understand that, right? You you do understand. I'm just going to keep expanding these timeouts longer and longer. You like you like th this this is how society works. Like it, that's, that's that's how we're like. Come on, man! <laughs> Jesus Christ. For Big Chunga the Kid, and for you, the Cavs. He says, see, not touch. Well, I don't, that's not how I view the society. That, that, not in my land. I don't give a fuck. You, you say you see? You get fucking, you get seen to the door. That's what that means to me. I'll tell you that right now, man. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. You know what? I'm making that a chat rule. Just, just one rule. Just, just, just don't. Just don't. That's, that's all. Just don't. And hypothetically, if oh no, 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 not even hypothetically, like you can't even say touch because touch is blatant on the nose. But if you say C, then you can, you know, optically let that one go by. But I'm like, no, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna catch that right now. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna nip it in the butt. You know what I mean? I might, I might, I might as well cut the snake off. Actually, that wouldn't make any sense. No, 
I might as well address the cancer before it grows new abscess and kills me, right? That's that's how you that's how you do it. I'm looking at this in a medical sense, right? That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> but you are a child yourself, BDN. However, that is very close. So I'm just deleting that message. Nope, nope. I'm deleting the message, but that's close. Like it's just it's just it's just it's too close. It's too close. Like it just it's too close. It's too close. Just 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 don't be a pedo. That's that that's that's it. That that's it. Like how hard is it not to do that? You can just you can, you can do anything else. Dear God, <laughs> he's fucking crust. <clears throat> oh, but yeah. So I shouldn't have that much fun today. Actually, it's supposed to be like really short for me. I think because um. Oh my god. I I don't care if it's legal or not. I do not care. I am going to time him out. But I got I got I got to say something, right? So listen. Listen. I live in America. I don't care if you live in Japan. I don't even care if you live in like the Philippines where I think the age of consent is like 12. I don't give a fuck. I am in America. So you can't say this shit in the chat and have me look at it and laugh at it and read at it because, you know, that's not legal here. And also, I don't morally align with that. So therefore, no, we're not having any of that shit. If I time two people out for saying that shit, and I don't time this man out. I mean, I would be, you know, not in line with my messaging. So therefore, after that long speech, I got to give this man a 20. A clean 20. I did, I did say I said that last stream too, right? I said if you're doing this shit, doing this predatory pedophile shit, you get a clean 20. I did say that. So, boom. It matters what jurisdiction you're in, though. Oh my fuck. I said morally is also another reason as to why I'm reprehensible to said actions. Like, I don't give a fuck about the law in this specific scenario if I am the law. You know what I mean? <laughs> and if I am the law in this chat, then my laws are based on my morals. So therefore, I have to implement this. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's like that. It very is. We live in Alabama. Isn't there like, I know there's like six or five states. <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> mm, so you're forcing your moral upon others. Mm. Well, I mean, this is my chat, my stream, my little portion of the internet, right? And it is my right my freedom of speech to say that i don't like other things and i don't want that shit here so therefore yeah you make your rules man but damn yes i do make my rules that's that's the whole point and if i explicitly warn people do not be pedophiles hey do not say this ha 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 do not say this ha 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 seriously don't say this shit and they keep saying that i have to punish them because it is in line with my morals and it'll make you guys better humans overall because if you, if you keep if you're saying this shit online then it's gonna leak out obviously if you're gonna, you're gonna leak out and say this shit in public I'm, I'm helping you guys you know i'm helping all you guys all, all you degenerates <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it because it's a crime. I'm doing it because I think it's disgusting. That's not why. No, that because that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I was giving you an example. It's a referencing like one example on top of my morals. That's what I was doing. But yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not a crime in Japan. That's what I'm saying. Like viewing it as a crime itself isn't like a good enough standing foundation to build on. You have to view it from your morality standpoint because that is something that you can base your entire philosophy on if you just say oh i like this is legal well what if it's not legal anymore then why don't you like it anymore you know what i mean like like you have to and my viewpoint on this which shouldn't be having to have me stated is that i don't think you should take advantage of people who are demonstrably younger than you that's just that, that's it just like who do not have the capabilities to understand what the fuck they're getting into. That, that's just it. Oh my God. I'm going to have to like time out my entire chat, aren't I? I'm going to have to time out my entire chat. That, that's just, I'm going to be talking to myself this entire time. You know what? That's fine. That's perfectly fine. 
Guys, guys, listen, 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 listen. Before I time you two guys out, right? Listen, listen, listen. I was just saying, do not be a pedophile. I was just saying, me talking about that, uh, anyone talking about that would give him a 20. <laughs> and if you two are talking about it, saying shit like this, then wouldn't it be justified in my action to give you guys both a 20? Because I just said, you know, doing this shit here would give you guys a 20. Would that make sense? I mean, that makes sense to me. Like, it just, like... I mean, it's only it only makes sense, right? If I explicitly say, "Do not be pedo in chat," and you continuously be pedo, that means you prefer being a pedo over, you know, listening to one little rule. That that's that's all. Whew, okay, so okay there you go my entire chat is just gone okay my entire chat is gone from day one i have admitted that i do not like any predatory actions anything against children at all i, I just don't i do not all right i don't like any jokes about pedophilia i just no i don't want that shit here like i just, no that is one of the easiest things to understand. I don't want you joking about like having sex with underage children. Even though that's an anomaly because that, that means the same shit. Prepubescent people. I, I don't want that here. I, I, I don't. I don't. And that's basically it. So, now we're talking to myself here. How you, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. How you doing? I'm doing fine. You know, it, it, society as a system is built on morality and we build our laws upon the morality right like why is murder bad murder isn't bad because it's illegal murder isn't bad because we say so murder is bad what well, i mean that is why murder is bad but murder is bad because we say so and why do we say so because it takes away another person's right to exist on this planet now there are multiple circumstances where you can justify murder to stand the third and that is where legal comes into play however overall and the the the, the, the objective like concept of murder is bad BDN roller was me and pedo. He was just saying the facts going off on the people's statements and mega George. Listen, listen. Do, you, do I need to pull up the, the chat logs? Like I, I, I'll do it. I, I know you someone's burner. Right? You might. I don't fucking know. Whatever. I'll pull up the chat logs. Okay. I'll pull up the chat logs. The poop. Wrong, wrong, wrong. To prove to you. Oh fuck! I don't have the um. Here I go. To prove to you why that is a little bit too good faith. Okay. So look at BDN for example, right? BDN. He's like 14 at the time, you know. He came in. This man basically said, Hey, I love children. And I'm like, ah, no, you can't say that even though you're 14. But since you're 14, I'll only I'll only delete the message. Okay. Only thing I said. Only thing I said. And then I was also mentioning that, hey, do not do this. I don't care if you're in Japan. And he's like, You're not legally a, J a pedo in Japan. I'm like, no. I don't care if you're in Japan or not. I'm saying here, do not mention any of that shit at all. And then, you know, he's saying, and I can't be a pedo because I am not of age. Like, I, are, are we? Uh, my computer won't fucking move. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> and then I also mentioned that as well, right? So the reason I clocked him was because he said love is limitless. And the other guy, um, Mega, said love is ageless. Even though after I just said that my view upon this thing is anyone who's prepubescent, anyone who's still, you know, in the process of beginning or haven't even begun puberty in the first place is pedophilic. And I don't want that here at all. Anything involved in that, whether it's even a joke or not. And they say love is limitless. What does that mean? What does love is limitless mean? What does that mean? In referencing to specifically what I was talking about, what does that mean? <laughs> that can only mean one thing. That means love, age, age doesn't have, love doesn't have a number. It's just, it's just age, just a couple of numbers. Age is nothing but a number. That's exactly what that means. And that it perfectly lines up with the whole pedophilic 
the thing in discussion I do not want here. So therefore, he was making arguments for that thing. Now, I feel like it's more on lines of like freedom, 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 my freedom, my freedom, my freedom, second, third. But you're, ironically enough, you're impede, you're stepping on my freedom to not have that shit in my chat by saying that it is freedom to have it in my chat. It's a bit ironic. It's, 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 it's a tad bit ironic. But yes. I mean, I know it's like some spicy hot meme takes right there. But, um... <laughs> Oh brother, oh brother, yeah, that, that, that's that's basically it. Anyway, wow, this this should be like fucking um the morality episode, right? Whole episode of morals, like why things are the way they are, not because they're illegal, but because you know it's overall consensus that is bad. Like, for example, why is stealing bad? Stealing isn't bad because it's illegal. Stealing is bad because it's taking one thing from individual without their consent. And why do you think consent is valuable? Because with consent, it, it basically involves two people who agree on the action that's going to happen. You know what I mean? And stealing can go, is a broad paintbrush on a numerous amount of things. Now, obviously, again, you can justify stealing, and that is where legal gets into the, the equation. You know, you can legally justify stealing, you can legally, ethically justify stealing. But morally, Stealing is bad because take thing without consent. That's it. Okay, right, let me let me stop talking about this. Let me stop. So I plan on um. I plan on making like more YouTube videos on the channel, like I, like separate shit, like like um I, I made one I think it's coming up tomorrow where it's like seeing the Star Spangled Banner backward, but every time you say it, you gotta add on more shirts, ha 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 ha, you know what I mean? I also said a jail is a room. Never heard the joke. Person one, age just none. Person two, jail is a room. I was saying, I understand, my guy. What? If you don't unbend all of them, I can give you my what? Okay, bull. What do you mean? I also said jail is a room. You never heard a joke. <sighs> so you're saying he was just joking. That's what you're saying. But I didn't ban you though. I didn't time you out though. Like what? What do you? The only reason you say I never heard a joke is if I timed you out, but I didn't. Like what? Why are you? Let me see. No, I never timed you out. Unless this is an alt account of Mega or BDN. And if that's the case, I made my statement as to why that is not an argument. <laughs> But if you're not both of those people, I literally never timed you out. So therefore, what are you talking about? <sighs> Look, zero timeouts, zero bans. Like, at all. Hmm, I do find this interesting though. Cause I think here was like a long time, like should I block the term? This, okay, <laughs> I should have timed you, huh? Oh, you're BDN. Okay, yeah, so I made, I made my point against that. I made my point against that. I made my point against that. I already made my point against that. I literally said that I don't want pedophilia in my space. And ironically enough, you, that's all my freedom of speech, you know, to not have something in my own space by disobeying that social faux pas I gave with my freedom of speech just to say a joke. Now, I guess the question here is, is the joke worth the time out? 
because if I say joke bad and you say, yeah, but I want to say joke. And then I say, okay, if you say joke, I punish you because I think joke bad. And then you, th- and then you say, okay, joke kind of funny. So therefore I can say it. And then I punish you. And then you get mad at me punishing you because even though I warned you numerous amount of times, Oh my God. Be- oh, okay. All right. All right. Let me, let me, let me, let me, cause I feel like you're making a case here by saying you didn't deserve a good time an hour. I think it's, I think it's your cases here. Let me look at these chat logs again, but a bro. Yeah, I took issue with your whole you're not legally a ped- pedophile in Japan. That was that was like one of my main issues there. It wasn't because you said it wasn't just because you said love is limitless, but you just but it was because you kept mentioning that you can't be pedophile in Japan. When I explicitly said that that's not the reason why I think pedophilia is wrong. It's not just a legal basis. And you, you kept bringing it up consistently. And that's like my main reason as to why I gave you the time out. I mean, it wasn't just because that one semantic argument there. That that was the last shot about the camel back. That's true. But it wasn't just because of that. Yep. <laughs> this is a very, very, very fun stream, folks. <laughs> what was I saying, though? I think I was saying along the lines of like, I don't know. I don't, know, I don't remember what I was saying. I don't remember. I don't remember. I genuinely don't remember what I was saying. Like this, this, this shit literally was like a 30 minute, like sidetrack. It was like a, an entire fucking, um, fiasco. I mean, like, I feel like I should just continue to keep going on that route. Might as well, since I'm already over there. I can't think of anything else. Right. So hmm. let's just put it this way, right? Let's put it this way. So I guess the question is why do you want to say the jokes. That's the question. Why do you want to say the jokes? Is it because you think it's funny? I mean, yeah, you can make anything funny, obviously. Obviously, mean, anything. You, you, you make a Holocaust funny, obviously. But the question is, would you make a Holocaust joke in front of a Holocaust survivor? The answer is, you know, it depends, right? If the Holocaust survivor is like, hey, bro, listen, don't bring this shit up. I hate it. Do not do it. I went through it, so don't minimize and trivialize my pain. Then no, it's not okay then. But if you're referencing, you know, the Holocaust in such a comedic manner and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, whatever, fuck, and they're fine with it, then yeah, sure, go ahead and do it. Now, do you always need to consent to tell a joke? That wasn't the point of the argument. The point is this, right? If someone explicitly says, don't do this and you do it, then you value the joke over clearly the tiny little entry to barrier to being in this chat, right? It just, that's just what it is. That, that was the whole reason that fucking uh, hypothetical there. And I love you, 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 you. Damn. That leafy rant went crazy. Though. The leafy rant I did though was, was fucking phenomenal. I kind of wish I didn't make a separate video for it though because I feel like I covered like a lot of points in the intro, but it was very similar to the leafy video I just put up, so I can't put that up as an entire fucking uh, video for itself. So I'm kind of stuck in a consensus. Therefore, I can't really do much of that content I just made. That kind of sucks. I'm gonna upload the vod again. I'm fucking good. We're getting real meta in here, boys. We're getting like dummy meta. We're getting triple meta. Like surprisingly enough, I don't think I get political here because like I, I do like politics. I do love politics. My Twitter is like full of political shit. Follow my Twitter, by the way. But I'm not getting a stream. It doesn't like fit at most times. Therefore, I don't really get involved with it too much. But <laughs> age of consent laws and why this shit is bad is very political. So therefore, I had to get political. <laughs> Oh my God. Enjoy yourself. Let's see if it's fire. 
I was touching my cranium. I don't want any of that action. The intention is more. Oh no. I. J I. I. Okay. Okay. No, that wasn't. Again, I just said that wasn't the point of the hypothetical. The point was if you are willing to go through the joke, even though the person explicitly said, no, I don't want this joke to be told, then you view the joke as more valuable than their feelings. You know what I mean? That was the whole point. Yes, stop with the pedal jokes. That's literally all I've been saying since day one. It's not agree or disagree, you're just wrong. <laughs> That's just what it is. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're just wrong because you view the joke higher than the person. And the reason you do that is because, you know, you view pedophilia as a comedic sense of relief more valuable than people who don't want to be around anything pedophilic related. Like That's, that's very, very odd. Again, even if you're 14, which I can choose to believe you or not, it still doesn't, it's still, it's still a pedophile joke, obviously. Like, you can, you can, you can be, um, you can be gay and say help perform with jokes, right? You just, it just, it just exists. It's just a thing. <laughs> like, shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. Like, fuck, dude. Oh, my timeout is done. <sighs> again, I, I will double it, Big Chunga, if you do that shit again, man. It's just, it's just, it's just one thing. It's literally one thing, man. It's literally one thing. Me trying to make them happy is valuing the joke more. But I just said in that hypothetical scenario, if the person literally said, no, I don't want this joke, please don't say this joke. And then you say the joke, how was that making them happy if they never wanted it in the first place? In that extreme hypothetical with the Holocaust survivor. Eight minutes, 10 minutes, whatever, who fucking cares? Just, just don't do it again. That's the whole point, okay? Don't, don't, don't get stuck in the semantics of doubling the time or not. The whole point is I will, Go harder if you decide to do the thing I say not to do. That's all I'm saying. No, you can't say lowly. No, it's not that hard. Just do not mention anything relating to sex with children. Just no, no. Why is this such a hard thing to understand? Like, why, why do I have to, like, how, why do I have to say this? <laughs> like, <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> Actual brain rot. Are we... We're going to do the lowly argument. We're going to do the lowly argument. Are you serious? We're going to do the lowly argument right now. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Uh, okay. Well, we can have it. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, you can't say lowly. So you have to say some other bullshit, obviously <laughs> in retort. But what is the purpose of making lowly? What is the purpose of it? Enjoy yourself. Again, it turns blocked. You can't say it. You have to say something else. What's wrong with younger looking anime girls? Again, what is the purpose of making lowly art or making younger looking anime girls? What's the point of doing that? Answer that question. It's the qu no answer the question. What is the point of making that art explicitly underage appealing? What is the point of doing that? I lag. Oh, you know what that means. Oh, young look in. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, we can't we can't move on from this point until someone answers the question. Because that is a very, very important part of this discussion. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. What's up, Omo? 
yeah we are in the middle of a vile dis discussion of um <laughs> morality <laughs> People usually call flat chest the people low. Nope, that doesn't answer the question. My question is, what is the point of making, like, what is the purpose of lowly porn? That, that's, that's what I'm saying. When the anime is there stated, again, you're not answering the question. What is the purpose of making it? What is the purpose of making animated pixels appear to be underage? What is the point of doing that? If you can't answer it, I'll answer the question myself. <laughs> I, I will do it. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. We don't know. I like the ones that look underage, so don't ask me. Well, you just answer my question. It's because people like underage, prepubescent, appealing children because they're children on the animated screen in sexually explicit scenarios that's the reason why yeah to appeal to a certain group exactly that's the reason why the art was made you know what i mean now legally is it actually pedophilia legally i don't give a fuck about legality i do not care about legality that's not the point the point is it's made to appeal to said people so if it's made to appeal said people and you're consistently defending it and you consistently like it and you consistently conflate that with actual grown adults who happen to be petite, then why? That's just business and appeal to. <laughs> okay, let me let me give you um, a hypothetical scenario, all right? Let's just say that there was um, Apple, Apple. Apple, lovely Apple. Let's say um, Apple made an app that allowed you to drug women with a click of a button instantly. Is that wrong? That's just, okay. is it wrong to have Apple allow an app on their app store as a free business that allows you to drug women? <clears throat> the answer to that question since you're not typing is no <clears throat> now the argument you could make which is similar to the lowly argument you're making here is like well what if let me correct myself i like lowly cons adult anime people who are flat chested <clears throat> that's not listen 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 i i need you to understand something right quick okay If we agreed on the fact that Loli is made specifically for pedophiles, because that's what they are, pedophiles, because Lolis are meant to look underage, whether or not what their age is, they are made to look prepubescent. If that's the whole purpose of it and you enjoy it, that means you enjoy girls who aren't flat chested. No, you enjoy prepubescent girls. That, that's that's the whole purpose of it. That that's that's what I'm trying to say here. You can enjoy a flat chest woman all the fuck you want, but the thing is, if <laughs> if they're over the age of 18, there is a decent to high chance that they're going to look like an adult. They just have a flat chest. That so because you're also assuming that every single flat chest woman looks like a child, which is not true. Like it's just very weird to conflate the two. Like, it, that's crazy, man. I just, anyway, back to the example. So the answer is no, because obviously, if you have an app to drug women, that is bad. Now, one could say, well, what if the woman, well, what if it's someone trying to help the woman out? Like, you know, what if they need anesthesia? What if a doctor needs this app to help people immediately? Like, you, you can make the argument, but that would be null and void because the original intent of this app meant to drug women is for a specific purpose, which is to drug rape women. You know what I mean? I could just, that's just, that's just, that, I, I just, <clears throat> again, the legality of this app here could be along the lines of, well, legally, of course, obviously, I mean, it, it depends on the use of the person, right? The, the person, like, it, it, it's a free person, obviously. I guess I don't get it well, because, you know, my age is still attracted to, 
bro, bro, you you can't say you're attracted to children, even if you're 14. No, you are 14. So saying you're attracted to children means you're attracted to people who are prepubescent. That means younger than you. That means you are still a pedophile because you are attracted to underage looking children. Children who are younger than you. You know what I mean? That, that, that's that's like what are we actually doing here? Okay, if you like people your age, then I have a question for you. Why do you like Lolicon? If, if you're only attracted to people your age, then why do you like Lolicon? Why is Lolicon so attractive to you? That too, you're also too young to love, that's besides the point. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god, dude. What if you're not seven? That's, that's the problem, you're not seven. A seven-year-old wouldn't have that as a question. That, that, that's, that's just... A, Terrible bad faith. Actually, that's a, that's a great example of my case, right? If you're seven years old and you say you like children who are younger than you, then I mean, like, with, and even if you, like, why would you, I, wait, if you're seven, why would you even say that? You're seven. You are the children. Like that, that even like <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, he's just a perfect age of sim. That is literally like what is that's what the scenario is there. <laughs> that's, that's literally what it is. Oh man, I'm in kindergarten. <clears throat> no, no, you're not. No. God damn, bro. This this gun got fucking dent in the back of my head. It's fucking crazy. The holy shit is going off. <laughs> That's a cool shirt, brother. <laughs> what are you doing to me? What is <laughs> At least you didn't say the right phrase. So I'm not obligated to say my own my own my pitch card. There we go. Yes. <clears throat> I should have labeled this shit like legality versus morality. I should have. That's probably what I should have labeled this. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, man. Man, peanut butter. Peanut butter is very um, very interesting. Just like it turns like this silky smooth and soft, like when it does nothing. But um, at the same time, like it can also be really hard. It's like I <laughs> high ass thought I know, but like my whole case is like the consistency just varies whenever the fuck it feels like it. Like, wh like what the hell? Like goddamn it, peanuts! Like how come you can't be ground up and remain a consistent um fucking uh viscosity for the rest of your existence how can you have to be fluctuating all the time we gotta be so human like peanut butter is very human-esque that's not a peanut butter i don't think it's peanut and cum that's not not no i don't mm, according to the ingredients we have urine sperm and semen oh shit you were right oh fuck dude god damn it you're right ah oh. Fuck. <clears throat> wow, that was bad. So tastes good. Bet. You know what? Let me read my dad jokes. The clear, the thick air. Not a fan of peanut butter. I eat. <laughs> How do you eat jelly sandwiches? I can't do that anymore. I used to be able to eat like literally a jar a day. I can't do this anymore. I, I don't. It's just. It's too concentrated for me. I guess it's my problem. Like, like. Jelly is just too sweet. It's just too sweet for me. I, I can't handle that much. Even though I like, I love sugar. You, my friend, have like fried taste buds or your taste buds are so like desensitized that you need like high amounts of sugar and salt to compensate for it. 
<laughs> sweet tooth gone exactly like I, I overdosed my sweet tooth is now gone <clears throat> that, that's what happened to me How long you tell my shadow? It was only like 20 minutes. He probably just dip. He was like, <laughs> he's on that suspect shit. So he's like, eh, fuck it. He he's ranting about morality and legality. And yeah, no, I don't hear any of this. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's do a couple of dad joke, the dad joke segment. Dun, 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 dun. Dad joke segment. 30. Well, whatever. Fuck it. Anyway. If prisoners could talk, oh, oops. If prisoners could, again, why are you doing this? This is semantic bullshit. This is just like 20, 30, who gives a fuck? I timed him out. Like, if he's not here by the time after I timed him out, then he just left. Basically it. If prisoners could take their own mug shots, would they be called selfies? Got him. It's beautiful. All right, let's do another one. Let's do, um... <clears throat> okay. I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. Boom. Got him. This this is just this is phenomenal. This shit is just absolutely phenomenal. Holy this is a fire. <clears throat> God damn, bro. I'm like choking up. Okay, we got we got two more. 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 Okay. What kind of pumpkin protects castles? A royal gourd. I I don't know what that means. The pumpkin a gourd? Is a pumpkin a gourd? Like I I don't know. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Last one. What are twins' favorite fruit? Pears. Phenomenal. Yeah, I know it has no water in it, okay? I thought it did. I was thirsty. I needed something to clear my throat. But no one was there, so I had to put on another coat because I had to go outside and sweat some more so I can drink off the sweat that was coming out my pores. Ooh. Ooh, 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 that's, that's delicious bars. Mm. Spring water, purified water. I, I genuinely don't know the difference. Well, I can't, I don't have a, I don't have a debate topic on that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess, um, I guess spring water, isn't spring water like not purified? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, well, I'm not a general, general, is it called general technician or whatever? I'm not a general person. I don't, I don't know that much about shit. I can do both, but I feel like I drink spring water more because we, we live in the lovely state of Florida and, um, springs, except for hills, it's tend to be like a very common plant, whatever. Spring is made from piss and purified it in, in what? Spring is made from piss and purified it, piss, purified. I, I don't even know what the fuck that says. So I assume it's like where all the waste goes out to go, right? I think like Yeah, even with the is, that sentence doesn't make any sense. That sentence makes no sense with the is. <laughs> I would Google it, but yeah, if I'm Googling right now, I'm Google, I'm Google shit. Cause I know purified water means you have to go to the purifying tech um pur purifying filtration system where you, you um you heat the water up. And then you take the vapor that the water leaves and you use that as the actual water to drink. It's a lot more complex than that, but that's basically like the, the core tenant to um purifying water. All right, let me let me Google uh spring water. S spring water do 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 free Britney Spears, by the way, dude. Holy shit, dude. All right, definition. Water from a spring as opposed to river water. Oh, so you can't even drink this shit. It's like unfiltered, like unpurified, just unadulterated, just chunks of just disgusting vile bacteria in your water. So it's like going outside, going to a river and just drinking that over purified water. <laughs> I'm never drinking Zephyr Hills again. Jesus Christ. Zephyr Hills is saying fresh spring water. It's like, bro, are you trying to poison me, bro? What's going on, man? <clears throat> I guess I gotta Google that too, right? I guess I gotta Google like is like let me see. Um Is spring water purified, I guess I'm looking at. Let me see. Is spring water purified or distilled? There you go. 
Um, spring water typically undergoes some processing and filtering to remove debris and kill bacteria and other microbes, but most of the mineral content such as calcium and magnesium is left in the water. Constantly, consequently, spring water tastes fresher or crispier than distilled water to most people. Hmm. So uh, spring water does technically still go through the pro the purification process. But there's a lot of shit in spring water. But wait, where does distilled water where where does purified water come from then? What? Purified versus spring water. So <clears throat> I'm looking at my phone. Guys, I can't put it up on the screen. If you want me to put it up on the screen, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Like all bottled water, spring water has to meet FDA guidelines. Purified water can come from any source since it is the process of removing impurities that makes it purified water. According to LifeStrong.com, purified water is of significantly higher purity than spring water, tap water, or groundwater. Hmm. So the last one is said like the 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 the, 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 mm, the taste from spring water is just like leftover shit, like re residual um nutrients, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll go with purified water. I don't fucking know. I'm not saying I'm a spring water fan, but like <laughs> that's all we have down here. <laughs> So if I grow a third fucking limb, that's why it's goddamn spring water, brother. Spring water is goddamn fucking gave me cancerous sores that I cannot heal from. Now, of course, I wouldn't say it's waste from human bacteria because, like, I'm gonna be technically honest here. Where do we get the purified water from? We just don't make it. We either get it from the ocean or from the rain or some shit, right? And those sources are very, you know, filled with other senses of bacteria that, you know, animals and dead animals and shit like that. <sighs> well, I don't, I don't even know why that's an argument though. Cause like if they're both purified and they're both come from sources that aren't contaminated, then it's just all down to a matter of taste. Not, not even like a matter of purity. Right. That's the only argument you can make. Cause like, the fuck like we don't make water motherfucker like we just it just it just exists <laughs> like, <laughs> i guess it's like would you rather taste would you rather taste human piss or our our um fucking fish piss in your water i guess that's the real question and if that's the question i guess i go i don't know uh human piss i guess i don't really know i don't fucking know i don't really know i don't really know focus so my girl hey here's my stream and the first stream i have is just this shit it's just crazy it's, it's just oh god it's this like, I, I, we're going back what, what happened we're going back to what happened an hour ago yep see you later <clears throat> we're going back to an hour ago now <laughs> i want to say i'm in a bad mood for espousing why i hate lowly porn so much but I shouldn't have to make that as a case, you know, because like it's kind of evident as to why someone wouldn't like it. Obviously, like it just like it. What are we doing here? That was basically it. That was basically the hot take I had that day, or that all that day, or or at all. Period. I guess I don't fucking know. Um, let's see. Jesus Christ, I think I really need some water in my throat. Like, holy crap, man. Holy crap. <sighs> hmm. What is there to talk about? Because I guess, <laughs> it's like, here's the thing. I, I want to talk about politics, right? But if I don't have a computer that can viably pull up screens and shit, then I can't fully go into what I need to go to. So therefore, it's never really like that helpful in that aspect. So therefore, no politics till I'm ready, I guess. That's the whole point there. But we can have this screen though. This lovely screen. This this shit is beautiful. Now I know my cam lags when I have this shit up, but this goddamn this screen's amazing. What do I stream on? Um uh software OBS. Computers like a Dell laptop. It's like older shit. It has like dents and bruises and like there's like a bunch of lines on like one side of the screen. This just, just it's just like a busted like piece of shit. Um but it turns on and it turns off. So I, 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 that's useful and good enough for me because like, that's all you need if you're gonna do this shit here. You, you don't need anything else other than a microphone, a computer that goes and OBS, that's it. 
oh i guess i could check my stocks right quick right let me let me, let me. i've not been on my phone for the vast majority of the stream but i, I gotta check my stocks I, I, I gotta i gotta i gotta check my stocks man i kind of fucked up a little bit but i like I, I i can make up for it. i swear to god okay i can swear i swear to god i can make up for it okay i swear to god, I swear to god bro i was doing fine not too crazy nothing too crazy that bitch is lazy nothing too crazy that bitch is lazy what happened to the chat it died <clears throat> what do you mean chat it's so weird i mean if you left and came back it did yeah the chat would die the chat would die for you wow You capitalist dog. <laughs> I find it funny. It's like I'm such a like fucking fucker, but I got stocks. That's crazy. Hey man, rich rich people shit. That's all I gotta say. Rich people shit. You wanna make more money? <laughs> Invest in stocks today. You only need a spare one thousand dollars in this in your fucking pocket. That's all you need. You got a spare one thousand dollars. I can make that turn into ten thousand dollars in about a week. I promise. <laughs> Oh man! Speaking of stocks, I need to get my money back out of my 401k. I, I, cause like, I'm, ta I need to take that shit. I'm just gonna rip it right out of the bitch. Cause like, um, my old job, it, it had a 401k, but like, I'm investing so much money on my own. I don't need a fucking 401k. I don't, I don't need some goddamn company to tell me how to invest my money. I can do it myself. You know, my own research. I can invest in companies I want, that I believe are smart. You know what I mean? Like, I, I might as well do it myself. So you know what? I'm gonna walk up to the well. <laughs> Only problem is I have to pay more taxes on that because I, I I did a lot of moving, so I gotta pay more taxes on that. But I mean, I, I'll pay the taxes. I don't give a fuck. I'll pay the taxes. I'll do it. I'll pay the goddamn taxes. That's because I got a lot in that 401k. So it's like I kind of want to see it now at this point. I mean, I feel like if I if I didn't know what I was doing investing wise, then maybe I'd keep it there. But like now, I know, brother. I know. Also. I didn't realize this, but since I've been moving a lot of money, um, the taxes, for my the, the next tax season isn't gonna be too friendly for me because I, I I moved around a bit too much money. That I'm comfortable to say, <laughs> it's just let's just put it that way. I moved I moved a bit too much. Okay, <laughs> so um, <laughs> yeah, we're like holy fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm reading D. Gray, man. Um, D. Gray, man, it, it's so beautiful, dude. Holy shit. Like, I suggest you guys get into, like, any manga, or, like, Shonen or Sonic in particular. It, 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 it'll, like, open your eyes to, like, different perspectives in the sense was, like, the whole, like, Naruto having no parents but having good life and Sasuke having his entire family killed but having a bad life as a child. That whole dynamic there like that, that 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 basically gives you like two different perspectives right like one naruto literally had was given shit uh shit cards as a, a was dealt a shit hand but some of the cards were nice i.e had a house to live in you know like his parents were the hokage after all he had a house to live in uh, that's a decent card but um had no family he had no reason of communication you know what i mean sasuke he had a family boom gone so he knows what loss is at a young age so therefore their perspective left on life is gonna be entirely different because one never had anything and two lost something very valuable to him. So therefore, you learn in like empathy or sympathy. I think you you you, you learn in watching anime. So therefore, there's like a lot of them like that, especially in the signing and shonen um aspect. They like they they dive and shit like that. It's pretty it's like it's pretty cool to me. I mean, I guess because I'm like I'm really into like emotions and feelings and shit. That's probably why I like. I'm inclined to favor and lean towards like reading that shit. I guess I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little biased. Okay. <laughs> People say read theory, bitch, read manga. Like, get the, like what the fuck? Dude? Like, holy shit. Dude. Like, <laughs> it's like <clears throat> Dragon Ball Z nerd here, obviously, but like, um, when I was reading and watching Dragon Ball Z, while it was dumb and stupid to see all these buff people fight each other. The one thing I did learn is that, Power doesn't change your personality at all, or fame or success. The Dragon Ball is a perfect example of this, right? Because, like, for me, before I came to this woke conclusion that uh, of Dragon Ball Z, I always thought if you got more money, you would just change over time. You know what I mean? But in reality, no. 
That's, that's just not true. Money doesn't change who you are. You, <laughs> you change with the money you get. You know what I mean? Like that, that's how it works. Like if I all of a sudden became instantly homeless and broke and shit, like I, my personality wouldn't change. I just be in worse conditions where my worst side of the personality would, would, would become more um apparent, right? And if I was richer, those said worst side of my personality would be hidden because I have money to hide said worst side of my personality. You know, to, to like just tell people, hey, bitch, be my friend for a year. You know what I mean, I, 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 I can do some dumb shit like that. Look at how my loneliness. <clears throat> but like, when, when I say money buys happiness, I think they mean like money by, because like we live in a society where money and guarantee guarantee your survival and then after that guarantee survival you can also buy luxurious goods on top of that i think i think the security of having your survival guaranteed is what happiness truly really means not 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 the ability to buy like not not actual happiness it's just the ability to guarantee survive what happiness means when they say that because if, if again if, if it genuinely was money buys happiness then you wouldn't have as many like fucking billionaire pedophiles existing because a happy person wouldn't be violating a prepubescent teen perfect loop. I know like there are numerous amount of women you could even buy as a rich person. I mean, like, like, like it just, it's crazy to me, but yeah, <clears throat> as a fellow cummy. Oh, fun fact, I'm looking at myself in the stream, like, look at guys, I'm looking at myself, looking at myself, looking at myself, looking at myself, and that's what I'm always looking at. So am I slightly narcissistic? Absolutely. I'm never denying that, that I'm slightly uh, narcissistic. Never denying that fact. I like looking at myself sometimes, if not most of the time. I like hearing myself, because like, the thing is, if you don't like, like hearing yourself or looking at yourself, I feel like it's gonna be really tough to make any content, right? Because like, how are you gonna enjoy anything? How is anyone else supposed to enjoy anything you make if you don't enjoy what you fucking make, right? It's, it's, it's like a very simple and very easy policy to like go by, but it's just, it's, it's just true. You know what I mean, like, it's just very true. Like, <clears throat> if you were a comedian, right? Which I don't say I am. I mean, I guess I could be. I don't, I don't fucking know. <clears throat> if you're a comedian and you were saying some shit like, if you're writing some jokes down. Why are you writing the jokes down? You write the jokes down because you think they're funny or you think someone else think they're funny. So therefore you approve a said joke you're gonna write down before you say it. You don't write the joke down because, wait, what, what other reason would you have besides writing a joke? Cause like, why would you write a joke down if you don't think it's funny or you think someone else thinks it's funny? Because I guess unless you want someone to think it's not funny, but that is another purpose in itself because you want someone else to not laugh Therefore, their approval is needed to even write the joke in the first place. So I guess it's just long story short, you need to have a sense <laughs> of liking the content you make or even disliking it, but having a purpose for disliking, you know what I mean? Because like at the end of the day, you have to watch your content. You have to listen to your content. You have to watch yourself before you even put it out there in the public. That's how it works. That's just, that's just a beautiful market of capitalism, maybe. I guess the only person who can um do something and not enjoy it entirely is someone who isn't even attached to the work they're doing in the first place. Like, but that wouldn't even make any sense either. Because if you're like a boss of someone, at like a McDonald's workplace, and you tell them to make a burger, and you don't know how that burger looks like, but they make it, and it's a bad burger, and they sell it, and then the customer comes back and you say this bitch is bad, you'd automatically tell the worker that the burger is bad because you care about the product you put out. So never mind. Okay, I was wrong. I was, I was about to say, well, I mean, if you're not doing the work, of course, obviously you can't appreciate what you make because you don't make it at all. But I just disproved my point there. So never mind. Unironically, unironically, watching all these dumb debate bros and like watching the news and shit has made me better with like talking. It was like I just defeated myself in a free marketplace of ideas <laughs> in an argument that didn't even happen. So like <laughs> we are at that point in society where like where I'm at that point where like I can um 
argue with myself while I'm thinking about the argument up with myself, talking to myself, about myself. We're there. <laughs> We're actually there. Now I feel like, hold up, I, I actually, hold on, wait a minute, wait. I think I realized something. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think I realized something. I think I realized that maybe a part of my talent, hear me out, I might be conceited, I might be narcissistic. Maybe it's like absorbing a skill, right? I, the skill is very limited though. But like, here's the thing, right? I would like watch Bending with Bobbish, Babish, whatever. You make a video on bread. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna do that. I make the bread and it tastes good. I watch some of the debates. I'm like, okay, maybe if I get better at my rhetorical skills, people will listen to me better. Boom, I get better at my rhetorical skills because I heard them speak and how they did it and how they function and how they got to that point. You know what I mean? Like it's just maybe, or maybe I'm just average at picking up and adapting toward, I don't know. I, Okay, I, I, it maybe got to my head. Okay, maybe you did him. Okay, I, I, maybe I'm narcissistic. I just, I just got over that point. Okay, I mean, I, whatever. Fuck. Stop. Stop. Get off my ass. My point is though, <clears throat> we all have innate talent. So just find that fucking talent before you die. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That, that's all I'm saying. You know, if if you're really good at masturbating, then I'm sorry to say, unless you want a professional career in porn, then your talent's gonna be fucking useless. <laughs> But don't get me wrong though, because there are people who do world record masturbation things. So therefore, nothing is technically useless because masturbation as a concept is sex work. And if you use that talent you're good at, then you can actually make something of it. But worth depends on the markets, and the markets depends on the economy, and the economy is the capitalism. Therefore, you have to have something that is worth value, worth something that's worth selling. So like in this specific aspect of ma masturbation, actually being good at masturbation would be ideal because a lot of people love to see sex work. Yeah, that was the double entendre. That was pretty funny to me. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, uh, I was, that was actually funny to me. Double entendre there. I was, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think, uh, I think one thing though is like the reason why Going back to talent and luck, baby. Like the reason why people like they don't know what their talent is because they're so focused on something else that isn't their talent, and it's kind of hard to tell what your talent is if you don't like assess yourself. But how do you assess yourself? If you don't know how to assess yourself. It's, it's, it's just like like existing on this planet is such a fucking not a misnomer, but it's such a like a weird thing to do as a concept. You can't even like comprehend like fully optimizationally existing at your peak. If you don't know how to get to finding out what the optimization is and getting to that point requires <laughs> people who have already been optimized to tell you where to go. And if those people were never optimized in the first place, then how are they going to tell you where to go? Like it, it, it's just like a consistent, like perpetual cycle of just nothingness. But, um, wait, not nothingness. It's a perpetual continuous cycle of trying to find out something. Right, just to just curiosity. That's what I meant to say. Not nothingness, because nothingness would make no sense. What I just said. Curiosity. There you go. Yes. How much we got? We got on about. Let me see. We got about. I think one thirty-seven. Right? Yeah, one thirty-seven. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I want to stretch this to two hours. Or not. That's a good question. I don't know. I may or may not want to stretch it for two hours. Hmm. <laughs> This is meta again. I'm I'm talking about whether or not I should make this two hours or not. That's very meta. I'm 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 getting good at the meta content. I'm really getting good at this shit. That is the most terrifying fucking emote I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Holy shit! What is that, Omo? Dear God, is menacing. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll end it here. I'll end it here. Um, I had that brain blast. My brain is just recovering from these high-level ideas. And <laughs> my rhetorical skills are starting to run out. I don't I don't have that much in the in the gas tank left to keep going at such high, high speeds. So yeah. Um thanks for coming out. And remember guys, <laughs> pedophilia is bad. Don't do it. <laughs> Why do I have to say that? Jesus Christ. All right. See you guys tomorrow at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're not there, you're gonna miss it. See you goodbye.